sounds crazy. Alright, this is what I do now. I smoke bowls. I don't smoke weed. Well, I don't smoke blunts anymore. I smoke smoke the bowls. Oh wait, Dez isn't here, so I get to blaze in the house. I still want to go outside though. Where the fuck is my lighter? Smoke bowls every day. My son's name is Booty Itch. That's his name, Booty Itch. Is it four? I missed four twenty. I can't even see what time it is. Yeah, people always be like, it's my life goal to get high with you. It's like, I don't even smoke with my friends, so <laughs> good luck. When people, like, offer me blunts and stuff at the club, I'm like, mm, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unless you want to see me, like, freak out. Not freak out. Oh, freak out. Yeah, freak out. Maybe, sometimes. Yeah, the other day I smoked some weed with a uh, young Cushman, Nicoletti, at this party, and I literally took two hits, and I was like, oh, I'm going home. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm going to break the rules. So I'm going to smoke out of my me old tobacco pipe. See, this is when some fucking dope ass company needs to send me like some dope shit. Hey, I can promote your fucking awesome bongs. Whoever's taking pictures, it's bad luck. It's bad luck to take pictures. Ha, 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 ha. No, you can take pictures. I'm just fucking around. Why the fuck would I be like, don't take it? Unless, I mean, maybe not from this angle. All right, guys, here. Take a picture. This is like when you take a picture. I'm posing for a screenshot right now. <laughs> All right, no, see, it's over now. See, everyone's taking pictures now. This is not the one. All right. What other fucking questions you guys have? Advice. What other drugs do I like? Uh too old man that's the thing like once you like get over a certain age it's like you don't really want to try anything new i've never even done molly before number one thing people always get so shocked when i say i've never smoked coke i mean i snorted coke yeah that's how you know i never fucking did coke i'm like i've never smoked coke oh, i've never done coke i've never sniffed anything that's like there's a barrier here i just things don't go in it I don't think so. Think things don't usually go in your nose. I've done Zans, but not done them. Not rec I've done them like because I needed them, not rec recreationally. You know. I mean, I guess if you do like one before a party, I mean, is that recreational? I really need it, but I wish people didn't abuse Xanax, that way I can actually take it without, like, feeling like a fucking, I don't know, what the fuck, my hat's dirty as hell. You know what I'm saying? I've done Adderall before, but we're talking about my favorite drugs. My favorite drug is love. My favorite drug is green juice. You ever had green juice? Best drug. I've never done psychedelics. Um, 
I think I might have accidentally done like LSD ones, but I don't know. <laughs> Needles? No. Girl, if I've never fucking snorted nothing, why the fuck would I shoot something up? I mean, Rihanna made smoking weed like normal. Like, I don't think a lot of people know that or like acknowledge that. But remember when those pictures came out of her like smoking a blunt on the balcony and everyone was like freaking out about it. And then it was just like, she was just like, yeah, I fucking smoke weed, dude. Yeah, chicks smoke weed, duh, you know? It wasn't like Lindsay Lohan drinking and doing coke and you know, I mean like, I don't know why I said that, but you know, I said that for a reason. It's like comparable, right? I mean, Lindsay Lohan did make like doing coke and drinking cool. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to do. It's hard to make a drug look chill. You know, maybe it's just the day we live in, but Rihanna definitely opened gates, you know? People aren't gonna, tabloids aren't gonna take pictures of people smoking weed and be like, so-and-so's doing drugs or making it into a negative thing. People are gonna be like, yeah, that fucking bitch was smoking weed. No, not even the other day, today, I was talking about it and I was like saying, I was like, I hate when people ask me like, are you gonna smoke with your son in the future or like when he grows up, it's just like, why the fuck would I even ever like think or hope or I don't, I don't want to, I don't hope to, I don't think we should, you know what I'm saying? But me and my mom have smoked weed before and like honestly, it wasn't like fun, it wasn't like tight, you know? It wasn't like horrible either, but it wasn't like exciting. It's like smoking with your mom. Like it sounds like how it would be, you know? Not like extra cool. Like it's not like they're like, oh, oh what is this? A banana? Blah. Like, you know? So if you got high with me, it wouldn't be fun. I'm a stoner. I would just probably be like, oh, this is weird. Like, let's order a pizza. I don't know. I'm like, uh, okay. I think this is it. I wrote high on a. Me and Delilah and Daniel smoked weed, and me and Delilah went to school high. We was cracking up in Miss Johnson's class. We smoked it at the park. Tomorrow, me and Ivy and Delilah and Laura are gonna smoke. He he he. So, Delilah couldn't talk to Jimmy. She was all like, my friend likes you, and well, okay, I'm bored. It's the first time I smoked weed, then the next day. Mind you, this is, this is March 25th, 2003. Like, some of you guys in here were like a baby. And I was out here smoking blunts. So, remember that. Bitch. Man, today, Delilah asked Jimmy, but he said no. We smoked before school. Today was hot. Today was the science fair. And guess what? We're gonna smoke tomorrow with Ivy. But this time, we're gonna smoke a blunt and not out of a pipe. Next day. Next day. Me and Delilah and Ivy got hella high at San Antonio Park and we smoked it out of blunt. It's so much better. Delilah agrees. Man, I couldn't even read in Mr. B.A.'s class. Ivy was hella laughing. Man, blunts is hella better because a pipe didn't even get me high. Three days in a row I smoked weed, but not tomorrow. Okay, gonna do prank calls. Bye. <laughs> and that's how you turn into a crackhead. <laughs> and then I smoked weed every single day for the rest of my life. That's how it happened. <laughs> um, have I flipped rocks? I literally, so like, I've been selling weed at, at the point where I was like thinking about doing some other shit. I was selling weed. And I was like, all right, I'm tired of selling weed. Then I started selling pills. And pills was like my thing. Everyone knew me as a girl who had pills. So it was like good. Like I didn't have any, I had hella good clients. I had everyday clients. I had weekend clients. I had, you know, but then I started trying to sell Coke. And I was like selling Coke. And I was like, dude, Coke people are the worst. Like 
they'll call you at like 3 a.m. and like be like, I need some coke. Do you have heroin? I'm like, yo, fuck no. Like, get off my phone. Like, you know, people who buy ecstasy like buy it at like 7 p.m. or they buy it the day before. You know, like they plan that shit. You know, they're like, oh, I'm buying it for this part. People who do coke like buy that shit like all hours of the night and shit. So I was like, I'm not down with these hours. So I had all this coke and then I was like, shit let's cook it up because I lived in a dope fiend ass neighborhood so I was like shit we can fucking cook crack and like my homie Hawaii he knows how to do that shit so we were thinking about doing it but we were really close to doing it but we didn't and I'm happy we didn't because number one I would have wasted all that coke because we probably would have fucked it up and who the fuck wants to sell crack in Richmond like going off the deep end Kind of cigarettes. I smoke Camel Crushes. This is my brand right here. Yeah, selling crack is doo doo, bruh. I mean, I've done ecstasy hell of times. I've done too much ecstasy. So, 